So, uh, Ruby is everywhere, right? She's 13, 14 months old now, and she's just all over the place. And so we needed a baby gate for her, but the plastic baby gates that we purchased in the past, we still have one, uh, they're not, um, they, they push over a little bit too easily, and uh, the metal ones are just kind of a pain to put in, and none of them are particularly attractive, and so we decided to build one. So we found some plans online, uh, where we could build our own kind of farmhouse style, stand the way we wanted it, etc. And um, built one for the bottom part of the stairs, worked really well. So now I'm going to build one for the top part of the stairs using the same design. It's a slightly thinner up there. Um, so we'll take a little video as we go. And if it's anything other than absolutely horrible, we'll put it on the YouTube channel so you can see it. So, <laughs> so in the post from Alcoholic, he mentioned this technique of coming in and shaving off the edges of your of your boards so that they're um, have a little bit more of a rustic look to them. They don't have this this mill edge on them. Now, this was the first time that I'd ever done that, so it was a new concept to me. And uh, I definitely struggle with it a little bit the first few times. But basically it's something like this. You're taking your uh, what, box cutter, right? And then you're you're t you're going to the edge of these boards, which are very soft, and you're just kind of shaving off the the edge of it a little bit. So you're just taking a little bit of the edge off. And I don't know if you can see that, but basically it creates this kind of, I don't know, this, this uh, like hand carved look where the edges of the board aren't perfectly flush. Um, and so it just kind of has a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a, of a homey, less, uh, I love Home Depot, but Home Depot-y look to it. <laughs> like you went out and, and you know, sawed some tree down yourself and so everything's not perfect because it wasn't done with a machine. Um, and obviously it's totally faux, right? It's just for, for looks. Probably doesn't honestly make that much sense to do this on something like a baby gate that you're probably not going to have forever or have up forever. Um, but I'm always up for trying a new technique that I hadn't tried before. And so I did it on this project. And obviously since I did it on the gate that's on the bottom of the stairs, I'm also going to do it on the gate that's on the top of the stairs. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So you can try that if you want. So, this is a tight frame for me to get in, but basically we've got back styles laid out here on top of the front styles, and the idea here is that you're going to put your screws in the back. So the screws are going to be visible in this project, we're not doing any um, pocket holes. So when the um, screws go in, they're going to come in from the back side. Now, i got to make sure two things, i got to make sure this is all square, so I'm going to use this guy for that, not square right now. And then I'm going to put in these shorter um, front styles. I'm going to slide them in between here just to make sure that the whole thing will fit, even though I'm not screwing those in just yet. So with this one, I'm going to use glue and screws with an impact driver to put it in. So basically what I've done is I've got my front style underneath here. I've got this all squared out. And then I'm going to put some Gorilla Glue on there. And I'm going to put the back style on top of that. And if it doesn't match exactly, because this, this is a rough project, it's a rustic project, right? Then if I've got any overhang, um, I'm going to want it to be on the bottom because there's going to be some clearance down there. I'm going to want it to be flush on the top so that I can put some trim up there when the time comes. I'm using these um, T25 construction screws. They're an inch and a quarter. They go in really nice, they don't strip, they hold really well. I'm a fan. So, so with this one, we've got, I've taken a, a, a whole eight foot board here and I put it underneath the frame that we just built so that I can trace exactly where the angles are for the, for the clasping that's gonna be underneath. I'm trying to get the frame high, yeah, I know, it's kind of tight. Um, so this is the easiest way rather than trying to measure angles and all this sort of thing. I can basically just do it this way. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark underneath right here. Okay, it's going to cut it there, I'm going to cut it there, and then I can figure out what those angles are on the miter saw 
cut them that way, and this one will be good to go. Do something similar with the cross pieces that will fit in here. All of those obviously will have two angles in each angle where it meets the front board and the angle where it goes in the corner. So once you've got the um, X in here, then you're able to take these back styles, and the back styles are going to go across the back like this. And so you don't actually do anything to fasten the X in place. The back styles themselves, as you put them in and you, you glue them to the back of the X and the frame, they actually hold the X in place. Um, so that's kind of how that piece of it works. Now, depending on the width of your um, gate, you may have to use more or less of these back styles. And um, with the, with the one I did at the bottom of the stairs was a little bit wider. There wasn't a way to fit a small one in here, so I just did a small gap. Uh, right here, which didn't um, show because you had the thicker front style in front of it. So you can see the small gap in the back, but you don't see it otherwise. It's really not, not too bad. But I recommend laying all of these out so that you can get a feel for whether or not it's the right number, if you've got any gaps you need to deal with, or anything like that. Um, and then once you've done that, you're ready to fasten them in with Gorilla Glue and screws. Okay, so we've got all the back styles on, and it looks like that in front which was the plan. So we just gotta put a piece of trim on top and we'll be ready to stand it. Can you show me the gate? Show me the gate. Oh, oh, no, 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 come here, come here, come here. Nope, there she goes. This is the problem. All right, so this is the opposite of the reason why we make a baby gate. Now baby is going up the stairs, but I'm following her, so if she falls, we'll be okay. And now the gate is actually keeping her from safety, but you'll still get a chance to see how it works. So we'll lift this up, baby. Gate opens, it slides on that little wheel, and Brewer, can you make it? Bye. Hey. Hi. Bye. <laughs> so anyway, there it is in action. Oh, and now she's going to shut it. Can you shut that? Okay. Oh. There we go. And now she's safely upstairs.